Hey, what's up, Functional Bodybuilders? I'm back again with Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. We are now gonna be talking about the five things that you should be taking in your gym bag with you before you head to the gym that are gonna give you that much more versatility when you're training. And Coop is gonna start us off with... Hey, this video is brought to you today by my friends at Element. Element is a tasty electrolyte mix with everything you need and nothing you don't. That means lots of salt and no sugar. Element was formulated to help anyone with their electrolyte needs and is perfectly suited to folks following keto, low carb, or paleo diets. Element contains a science-backed electrolyte ratio of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium per packet. The perfect ratio I have found for me. What I love the most is that there's no junk, no sugar, no coloring, no artificial ingredients, no gluten, no fillers, no BS. As a member of our community, Element has a very special offer for you. You can claim your free Element sample pack simply by going over to the website, drinkelement.com forward slash Marcus Philly to get yours. And if you're wondering what my favorite flavor is, raspberry salt mixed with some ice water is delicious. I hope you enjoy. Okay, I think this is the most underutilized conditioning tool. It takes up no space. Everybody's got them. Everybody has used them growing up. They're very cheap and you can use them in a lot of ways. And that is the jump rope. Now the jump rope traditionally, I think in modern fitness is thought of as this tool for CrossFit used for double unders. But this is a tool that has been used by some of the fittest people in the world. And the people I'm talking about are boxers. Mm. So you look at boxing, boxer training, like their conditioning is ridiculous. They've got to go 10 plus rounds of training of trying to knock the one person out and not be knocked out. So you got to make sure your conditioning is high. So you're basically just going all out for a lot of rounds. So there's a lot of different types of jump ropes. This one is like a thin, I think there's an RPM rope. That's right, yeah. It's a very thin bare steel cable. And this one is really designed as a speed rope. So the idea is like, how can you get more revolutions quicker? This would be what you'd be using for a lot of double unders and yeah. things like that, which Marcus probably has a ton of experience with training for the CrossFit Games. But my favorite type of rope is something more like this. So this is a little bit heavier weight rope I'm not trying to do a ton of double unders. Oftentimes when I'm jumping, I'm doing singles, I'm doing single foot. I'm just, I'm jumping for time. So I'm jumping on one foot, jumping on the other foot. I'll sometimes go into doubles, I'll cross, things like that. So I'm constantly just moving and trying to do different movements. You throw in a jump rope and you're actually going at it for five, 10 minutes. I'm telling you, you are going to be toast. Now you can change the speed too. So if you wanna go real slow and you wanna go longer steady state, you control the rhythm. And if you wanna pick it up, you decide. And you can go as fast or as slow as you want. And I think it's a tool that you can take anywhere. Every time I travel, I take a jump rope. It takes no space. They're very cheap. And I'm telling you, if you throw this in more, I love all the different machines, but if you just want good conditioning, I think this can get a lot done. And you don't wanna to go to a gym and trust the jump ropes that are gonna be there because they're never gonna feel right in your hands. They're not gonna be the right length. Yeah. And it's simple enough, these things wind up into almost no space. You can have a heavier version. There's a lot of companies out there that offer different thicknesses of cable. Sure. So you can have a thin one, you can have a, a little bit thicker. There's even ones that are have weighted handles like this with a really thick cable. This thing all in is about two and a half, three pounds, <laughs> which is then gonna make it more of a shoulder and upper body workout. So just having maybe one or two options in your bin bag could be great. I think that a jump rope is, is absolutely a must and I don't travel with that one either. All right, so you can't just fill your bag with a jump rope. You've got a whole lot more space. So Marcus, what else are you putting in there? This one also doesn't take up very much space. And I think from a warm up preparation and even from a strength training perspective, these nine inch bands or glute loops are terrific. So let me grab those and show you what I'm talking about. All right, in our last video, Coop reviewed some of the benefits of the traditional jump stretch bands. These are slightly different. These have a about a nine inch uh, diameter and they are really designed for going around your knees or your thighs and they allow us to do some different movements that activate, engage, and train our lower body and our hips. A lot of people don't realize this, but you can do a lot of the same movements with the bands 
around your forearms, around your elbows. You can do plank walks, you can do push-ups with these. You can even put these around your wrist while you're doing push-ups, which is a great way to prime your push-up mechanics and to teach you how to actually use your shoulders the correct way, because that's gonna force you to push against that band in your push-up. So I like this as a tool that I can add into any warm-up that I do. I can do 15 push-ups with the band around my wrists. I can move it up onto my elbows, do 15 push-ups there. I can even do exercises where I'm laying on the floor and maybe holding onto some light dumbbells and preparing my bench press. This is a great way. There's a lot of good uh, educational content out there on social media that'll show you, hey, how is this a tool to get my shoulders and my scapula ready for pressing, which a lot of people love to do at the gym. And then of course, all of the lower body movements that you can do from lateral band walks to skater walks to monster walks, and then moving this thing up around the knees and doing a variety of different glute bridges and hip thrusting <clears throat> exercises. I think that for the amount of space that it takes up and the variance that it can add to a variety of different exercises that you might already be doing, like putting this around your knees when you're doing heavy barbell hip thrusts. Mm -hmm. I think it's a great add to your bag, to your gym bag, and they're extremely inexpensive. So if you wanna look for these in particular, these ones are made by Perform Better. You can just look up nine inch, uh, nine inch bands or uh, pre uh, preparation bands or something like that on, on Amazon. They also can come in like a, like a more of like a nylon thicker version that is probably more ideal for doing lower body stuff and preparing for squats and adding them to squats or adding them to the hip thrusts. Uh, but again, they take up very little space and you're gonna get a lot of value out of them. Okay, so one tool that I think is almost the ultimate upper body builder, if it's a body weight type exercises, if you think of the people that have some of the best upper body development in the world, it's gymnasts. And what tool are they using most often? They're using these. They're using rings. Now, rings are often associated with being at a fixed point. So, you know, you're going to a gym, you may not be able to fill your bag with rings. There are alternatives. One example are these. These are from a company called Abmat. They're called quarter rings. And it's like the name suggests, they're essentially the quarter of a ring. So you can do a lot of the things that you can do with rings on a smaller profile. So if you wanna attach these to a pull-up bar, if you wanna attach them to a barbell for rows, you can do all that sort of thing with these. You can also attach them to like dumbbells or something like that for pulling exercises. But the reason I really like rings in general is it allows me to have a dynamic point that I can pull from. And so right now, I'm doing a lot of weighted dips and a lot of weighted pull-ups. And weighted dips on rings, if you've never done them, is much more difficult than on a fixed matador horns or something like most people are used to. It just provides a little bit more instability and I think it's a little bit more comfortable because I can more adapt the angle to my body size than something that's just on a fixed welded point and is that size no matter what the body no matter the size of the person that's using it. But the other reason I really like rings in general is because I can do pull-ups, but I can also do muscle-ups. And I think muscle-ups are an underutilized workout. Um, and I'm not just talking like kipping muscle-ups like we see a lot of times. I do a lot of strict muscle-ups. So I'll go into a false grip, I'll come all the way down and then all the way up. And then oftentimes I'll do skin the cats too. So for shoulder health, I think there's just a lot of things that you can do with rings. Throw these into your gym bag. You can use them on a pull-up bar, or if you want to use them for farmer's walk, all that sort of thing, that's what these allow. They're cheap, they're small, they're portable, they're lightweight. I think you should throw these in your gym bag. I'm gonna talk about something that might not fit very neatly in your gym bag, but it's something that is very portable, and that is the weighted vest. Now these come from a ton of different manufacturers. Coop's probably seen a ton of them out there as well. But what I love about the weighted vest is that it can change your body center of gravity and your body mass just enough to turn something as simple as walking into a great cardiovascular training exercise. Not that walking alone with your own body weight is bad, it's terrific, and we talk about that a lot in this channel, but one of the things that I did when I was younger and I continue to do is weighted walking. And if you can find a place where you can go and do a little bit of rolling hills or find some incline and you put a weighted vest on, doing 30 minutes of walking with just a weighted vest is a terrific way to boost your metabolism, your energy output for the day without having to go and super intense on your cardio. It's something that will feel sustainable, but it'll also feel like hard work. Additionally, 
You take a weighted vest and any body weight exercise that you would normally be doing in the gym is now converted into something that's weighted and loaded. And these things can scale up. A lot of these have plate inserts that you can change the weight on over time. So you're getting a little bit stronger. You wanna add a little bit more weight. You can change your plate out. I like this, especially in conjunction with the rings. If you're doing ring work, you're working on your ring pull-ups, put on a vest do some weighted ring pull-ups. I think there's a ton of versatility here, specifically around cardiovascular steady state training. So if you're at a gym and you've got a stair climber, you've got a treadmill, you've got an elliptical, anything like that, you can put this on and that's a great way to kind of elevate the intensity of what you're doing for your conditioning. And then when you get off and you go do some air squats, you go do some push-ups, you go do some pull-ups, that is gonna add a great bit of additional resistance to whatever you're doing. Uh, one company specifically I want to talk about for weight vests is a company called Kensui. And the reason is, is if you don't want to carry the weight around with you, but you want to use the weight that's at the gym, you just want to take a light device, it's called Kensui Easy Vest. And it uses plates, like actual Olympic plates, instead of like these body armor type plates. So it's much lighter, it's like five pounds. Wow. And yeah, it's got like a, it's got an Olympic collar on there, an Olympic sleeve. So it's a two inch sleeve, you load the plate on, You this thing can get up to 250 pounds. So you can use it legitimately for squats and loading in different ways, but allows you to use a weight vest without having to add the extra weight in your bag. You can just use the weight that's at the gym. It does cost a little bit more, but at the same time, you're not paying for the plates. All right, our gym bag is getting pretty full. We've got room for one more thing. Coop, what are we gonna put in there? Roller skates. No, I'm just kidding. These kind of look like roller skates, but these are called monkey feet. And the inspiration is from something years ago. You know, they say there's nothing new under the sun, and that's kind of true for fitness at times. These are based off something from York Barbell called the Iron Boot. So there's old bodybuilding magazines like long time ago, back when like there was Charles Atlas ads, they sold these things called iron boots that allowed you to basically have this iron shoe that you wore on your foot and would allow you to do extra exercises. Well, this is the modern interpretation of that and it is actually really well done. So this allows you to add a dumbbell as resistance to your foot for all different types of exercises. For me personally, the way that I use these is often for hip flexor stuff. So I'll stand on something upright and I'll do hip flexors. But also we see a lot of people in the home gym community using them in replace of some of these machines that we have over here that take up a lot of space and are expensive. So you can use them for leg extensions or line leg curls or standing leg curls. There's just a lot that you can do with them. And again, they don't take up a lot of space. Yeah, and I think if you're somebody who's maybe traveling for work and you're gonna find yourself in you know, a, a gym, like a hotel gym, yeah. where there's not gonna be a lot of equipment there, but you can almost always expect there to be some dumbbells sure. and lighter dumbbells. So you walk into that gym, easy to get an upper body workout, do some dumbbell bench, do some dumbbell rows. I've got, where's the lower body equipment? Oh, I don't, oh, I got my monkey feet and I can just slide a dumbbell in there. I can get some leg extensions. I can get some leg curls. I can do some hip flexion. I can get my lower body taken care of with this, just with access to any typical hotel gym dumbbell rack that goes from five pounds up to maybe 40 or 50 pounds. And you don't have really heavy stuff that you can get a great squat workout with, but hey, you've got these. Sure. It basically allows you to have a hand on your feet. That's right. So you can grab dumbbells or, you know, whatever weight, like you would, like I'm doing rows, I just use my hand, but instead of using my, I can't grab them with my foot. So this allows me to attach to my foot and you can use it in a myriad of ways. So for the price and size, yeah, I definitely recommend them. And if you want to, you could just use one. Yeah. Like a lot of times you don't need both. I just use one and I would travel with just one and I just do single leg stuff. Agreed, yeah. We have two at the gym because we have two people training often, but <laughs> you only need one. And with the rest of the equipment here, I hope we've given you some solutions for what your gym bag could have in it that could take your training from where it is today and expand upon all the equipment that you have access to with these simple tools in your bag. Thanks for joining us. If you got questions for us, drop them in the comments and we'll see you next time.